what's up youtube welcome back to my channel this is your boy Archie beats and i am here to help and today we are discussing another cool logic awesome trick but before we get started if you guys are interested in any type of production or recording tips you are in the right place so please subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be giving out a lot of vital information also if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio which is currently on the road being shipped to the west coast right now please click below because i am an amazon influencer and I have everything in my studio listed below and some extra awesome cool gear that's going to help you on your creative journey. So guys, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're talking about how to get that cool reverse effect in your tracks and your beats, whatever you want to call it. This is how the track sounds. It's kind of trappy. So first thing first, we're going to start with the VST and you guys know how much I love exhale and we're going to start with the one and I have it set to C minor, which is what key the track is in. And what I'm going to do is we're going to arm this baby so we can start the recording process and I'm just going to play. I'm hitting the C key on the one and I'm also hitting the A. So the A and the C combine on the one. And of course, like I said, my track is in C minor. So when we hit these two chords. It goes to whatever the key of the track is. And we're going to hit the record button and we're going to do just four bars. And we're just going to do four bars. We're going to quantize it to the eighth note, solid eighth note. And, And that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to control click bounce in place. And what it's going to do, it's going to ask us if we want to create a new track, select a track, mute it. I usually have it set to the original setting because it's a lot easier that way. And let's go ahead and name it reverse because file management is extremely important when you have a session and you're trying to um, find things when you're in the process of mixing. So you want to get it out the way and name it instantly. So right there off the bat, the track is actually named reverse and the audio file, right? It's not reverse yet though. That's only the first step. So let's give it a listen. So it's no longer a MIDI file in this stage. It is an audio file. So the file has already popped up down here. If it's not there, for example, you just double click it with your mouse and then you go to function and in function, there's the reverse. So this is the sound. Okay, and we're gonna loop that and... And there we go. That's how you get that cool reverse sound that you hear in all the Drake records, all the new Travis Scott records, and just pretty much everybody does this or use this method or unless they're mixing it in Pro Tools. I just wanted to show you guys the production process and logic. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I really appreciate you guys for always coming through, checking your boy out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Archie Beats. You guys are incredibly phenomenal. Phenomenal. This is your boy Archie Beats, and I'm signing off. Archie Beats on the beat. Yeah.